Hello there, I am Giant Quirtle with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part we took on this uh, route under Cycling Road, and we took on Cycling Road too. And we battled all the trainers under Cycling Road. We went into the first, the basement part of the Wayward Cave, but we can't really go further yet into the cave because we don't have the, we can't move the boulders, you know, with an HM. So, but we can move, and um, we can actually access this part of the Wayward Cave. Um, this is just like a, this place you don't even have to touch or explore at all. Uh, it's optional. It's just like a place where you can train because there's a lot of double battles and stuff. Because we'll actually be helping a little trainer out because she needs help getting out. But we'll get to that later, I guess. When we get to it, I should say. Um, I brought, st I have Star with me just because I want to use Flash. Flash isn't required for this, uh, dungeon or, um, area, I guess you could say. But um, it's really helpful because you can actually see and stuff. And um, also, something that is required is you need to know a Pokemon. You need to have a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash to smash the smashable rocks that are in your way. So keep that in mind. So I have Jetta up front. So yeah. Um, I I'll see how bad the double bat the wild po trainer ba or not the wild the wild Pokemon battles are. I think there's a lot of G dudes in here and Zubats and stuff like that. But we'll see how long that takes. If not, if it takes too long, I'm just going to spare pals and stuff. But I want to get a feel for it first, just before I make my decision on whether to use repels or not. Like, I don't know. It just depends on how long it'll take. And Because the battle system, as I said so many times before, it's really slow in this game. So, yeah. And by the way, I forgot to mention is that on the bottom screen, uh, Jetta's a little, took a little damage um, in between videos because... I ran into like between me healing and getting um bronze ore and depositing inferno uh, back on the way to, to back to the entrance of the wayward cave um yeah Jetta just took some damage from like a couple of pony tests and stuff that I ran into and I wasn't I didn't want to spend any repels because I was like okay it's okay if Jetta takes a little damage she'll be fine you know I'll, I'll make sure to keep her in good health you know so yeah, there's there's the double battles right there. Like you can you can battle one at a, one at a time by just talking to them. But it's better if you just do double battles because I think it's a slightly quicker, I guess, in some cases. And just as a reminder, I do have um, bronze is holding the experience share, so that's just a reminder. Dang it. Okay, here's what I decided to do. I'm gonna actually just spare pillows up. Um, until I reach um, Maria, who is the trainer who needs help getting out of the Wayward Cave. Um, and, but then um, I'll cut out the double battles in Wild Pokemon Trainer Battles. So, like, because the double battles are really helpful because you get, like, a lot of experience and stuff. So I'll just, but for right now, I'll just put on, like, some repels. And the repels are right here, of course. I bought, like, a, I think 8 to 10 more repels off screen, too. So I have 14, now I've, uh, I had 15, now I have 14 repels. And then that super repel we picked up in the last part is that item ball. So yeah. So yeah. Um, also, um, a reminder for like repels. I forgot to mention this earlier, but um, repels. Uh, so for example, Jet is level twenty-one. So that means that Pokemon that are level twenty and below, uh, will be um, uh, will be um, blocked off by the repels. So I won't run into levels Pokemon that are level twenty or below. If it's level twenty-one, I still will run into it. It just depends on the first party member of your team and their level. So hopefully that makes sense. Like 20 and below, I won't run into any wild Pokemon battles. Wild, wild Pokemon uh, the, the level 20 and below, but if it's 21 or higher, then I will run into them, even with their repel, you know. It just depends on the first party member of your, um, in your first slot, you know. That's a dead end. Okay, so let's go up. And then le left again. I just, I don't, I have a good general idea of the map of this area, of this little cave, or the Wayward Cave, but, um, yeah. Like, I'm really confused right there. Well, I think this is the trainer battle right here. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I th I'm just gonna go the way that I remember Maria is at. She's, like, in the top right corner of the map. It's hard to explain, but, um, I think in my original Pokemon Diamond walkthrough guide, I um, showed like a little picture of the Wayward Cave and where Maria would be. I'm pretty sure I did that for that part. But that was like a long time ago. That was back in 2010. 
So I'm not really sure. I just remember thinking I did that, you know? Um, let's go right, because I think left is another trainer battle. Uh, don't battle for trainers and stuff. So we'll just go the way I remember. Because I'm, I'm like 80% sure this is where Maria is, like the destruction. If my d-pad would work that great, you think great. Or work properly, or I, if I didn't have such big of a thumb, you know. Escape rope. I have three. I have three escape ropes now. Now, when you find Maria and you decide to go along, go and take her out to the exit. You can't use an escape rope because there's two people. So keep that in mind. My repel off. So I'm gonna put another repel on. And let's use rock smash right here and go right. I think we want to go down next too, because I think that's an, oh, to the right's another trainer battle. It's all coming back to me, just like Boomerang, you know, the channel Boomerang on like satellite TV. It's all coming back to you. <laughs> I like how a Boomerang. Um, I think it still does show old Pokemon uh, episodes, like from the Johto Journeys and the um, the Kanto, the Indigo Plateau season one, and Orange Islands, those old ones. It's really cool. But you can, I think, Pokemon uh, season one and two are um, still on Netflix to all the episodes. And then you can also watch all the Pokemon episodes. I think on Pokemon episodes start a week. So yeah. Okay, there's a trainer battle. There's a couple of trainers there. So I sort of want to go up actually is where Maria is. I think Maria's up into the left. Let's see if I'm right. Up, uh, okay, into the left and then up again and then to the left or something. She's deep into the cave. So that, so that's why she needs help getting out. Cause she got, she says she'll, um. She caught, she was trying to catch a lot of Pokemon and did, but, um, she, uh, got lost. And here she is, by the way. If I can talk to her, that'd be great. Okay, okay, I'm Maria. I'm, I'm Mir, M-I-R-A. I'm gonna say it's Maria, but I could be pronouncing it wrong, so I apologize for that. I was just catching Pokemon, and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please, take me to the exit. And we decided to go with Maria. Yeah, um, she has a Kadabra, and it's level 15, or, no, I think it's level 18, actually. So yeah, that's really cool. I know it's Shockwave, Confusion, Kinesis, and Flash. I'm surprised I remember that. Yeah. So it's a very helpful Kadabra. Don't underestimate it. I mean, and she, like Cheryl, will um keep your Pokemon in full health. So that means after every Pokemon battle, whether it's a wild Pokemon battle or trainer battle, she'll heal up all the PP of your Pokemon and all the HP. So that's really cool. Actually, we're pull off, so I'm going to actually just... Take, um, I'm just gonna cut out the wild Pokemon battles if I run into any. I'm gonna walk just so I don't run into them as often. Although, yeah, because with the, when you run, there's like a bigger chance that you'll, um, run into a wild Pokemon battle. But, um, I have Weasel or uh, Jedi up front, so, um, let's take on this first, um, set of trainers, you know? This duo. This guy's, I think there's a collector and a ruined maniac, I believe. He look like he might have just the Pokemon I've been looking for. Says the collector, and in deep tunnels and caves, there are a couple things you should see. You're sure to see. So ruin maniac and collector. See back in ruin maniacs. Okay, that was a cool battle, and I was right, the uh, movie's Kadabra is level 18, so that's really cool. Okay, so after that battle, um, we can go somewhere. Okay, in that last battle, Jetta got level 22. So I'm gonna put Jetta back here, I guess. But I'm also gonna um just use Repellus because these battles are taking way too long. The wild Pokemon battles and 
I might as well just use pills just to avoid them. So if I remember where I'm going, there we go. Okay, yeah, I know where I'm going now. So we go down here, so to the left, up, and then left again, and then up again, and then to the right said well, uh, trainer battle. So yeah, let's battle them, I guess. Why not? Let's battle them. There's two pi uh, picnicker and a camper, I think. Uh, what every good picnic needs is a cute setting, good food, and a fun battle. Okay, well said. And so this guy says, huh? Are you lost too? No, it doesn't matter. Let's have a quick Pokemon battle. In that battle, um, uh, bronze grew to level 17, which is awesome. So yeah, we can just um go up here. I think this way is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dead end. Okay, just making sure. We can go up. I fell off again. Okay, let's just spray another one. Wait, well, I'm missing. I'm skipping some battles here. <laughs> I don't want to do that yet. I want to get as much experience as I can. Just use Rock Smash right here. Choose another trainer battle. Double battle, I should say. Okay. Hmm. You're, you're lost, aren't you? I will give you a guide if you can beat me. Oh, I know my way around these parts of this cave. Um, what do you have to say? Where am I? Am I lost? Who are you? Are you a Pokemon trainer? In that last battle, Karen grew to level 22, which is really cool. Let's put Rose up front then. And I think this is a TM. Uh, no, it's a rare candy, of course, it's a rare candy. <laughs> so let's continue on. I just want to go down. I just want to go down. There we go. Wanna go down again? Jeez. And I think these are the hikers. Nope, the last and a youngster, of course. I was wrong. Again. Okay, hush now. Lost little Pokemon, don't you cry. I'm here to take care of you. That's nice, at least that's nice, I guess. Did you come to play too? Wanna play battle with me? Sure, why not? Okay, so um, Rose grew to level 22 in that ba last battle, so that's pretty cool. I think this item ball is a TM, but I could be wrong. Last time I was wrong. That's TM32 double team, so I wasn't wrong that time. Nice. Okay. 
got Maker. We're almost out of the Wayward Cave completely. I think we may have like one or two more double battles to do that are optional. So yeah, like this one. Power off, of course. But here's some hiker dudes. Let's talk to them, or let's battle them, I should say. Okay, um, look, a trainer lost in the in Wayward Cave. I'm not lost, I'm just battling you guys for experience. Jeez, what you not get about that? Wandering around, I got hungry, so I ate some wild mushrooms. That's, I don't know if those are poisonous or not, but okay. They gave me some gas, they gave me gas, and now I can't stop burping. Borf? Okay, that was a fairly easy battle. I think that might be the rest, the, the remainder of the trainers that we just, we've probably faced all of them. I could be wrong. Because it looks like we're coming back to the entrance. Pearl off again, okay, let's bring that on. I have four more after this, and that's super repel, one super repel. Yeah, we battled them. I think we must be, I think we might be done, yeah. Yeah, we are done. So after when you get to the um, uh, entrance of the Wayward Cave, uh, Maria will say, Oh, there's the exit. I want to get tougher, so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Steven, bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Always glad to help. And we can exit ourselves. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to, uh, as I'm going to, um, deposit Shinx or star in the PC then get Inferno back out and then um, we're gonna continue on with the next thing we're gonna go south of here so into the next route I think route 207 where we couldn't access without when we got to Ornberg City for the first time because we didn't have a bicycle to go up the slope it's that route yeah and then we're probably gonna head west into another we're probably gonna head east of there and we're gonna enter another part of Mount Cornet so yeah so um, I'm gonna do the off screen though, or the, at least the you know the exchanging with the um, Pokemon PC Pokemon like Inferno, exchanging um, Star for Inferno and stuff like that. But yeah, this has been then my Pokemon uh, Diamond Redo walkthrough guide. In the next part, we'll do just that. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to just again goodbye, and I'll just see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo walkthrough guide.